Oh, so you don't watch the Great British Sewing Bee? Twice! Twice I watched it! It was fucking shit! Guys, I'm trying to study. What the fuck are you doing down here? Revising. I think the real question is, what the fuck are you doing down here? Can we just keep our voices down? <laughs> How do they know your name? They know everything. Quickly, delete iPlayer from your phones. Oh, Jesus, I haven't got a present for watching new tricks. Guys, I don't think the TV license people kick your front door in. Oh, don't you see? They've gone rogue. For the record, that isn't a television in my bedroom. It's a TV monitor for playing video games. What is going on? I don't know. Maybe it's the guy who come to pick up the Big Next catalogue. They already came to pick up the Big Next catalogue. OK, well, we're not going anywhere until we get our 60 grams. We'll start looking, eh? Oh, my God. You better fucking tell us where it is before we rip this place apart. Um, guys, I think I might know what this is. Promise not to shout. <laughs> um, well, I might have, by accident, told the drug dealer who's doing security and drugs for my event um, that I've got 60 grand cash in the house. Fuck, fuck. So that's Bowl? That's fucking Bowl up there. That fucking bald psycho with the deceptively adorable nickname. <laughs> you got involved with the Manchester drug lords. The lords of the drug lords. Fud dealers! Fud, have you seen The Wire? Because I haven't, but I can fucking imagine. I'm starting to feel a mite jittery, so I'm just gonna lie flat on the cold, hard ground. Yeah. Look, it's just one of those things that happens, isn't it? No, Vod, it isn't. Washing your jeans with a tissue in the pocket or accidentally ordering a large jar of olives from the Ocado shop, but getting raided by dealers the night before your fucking finals. I'm calling the Rosers, getting them to waz round here and roz up all the criminals. Uh, actually, I prefer it if you didn't, mate. Um, he is a dealer and I am kind of up to my nips in this, so... Am I up to my nips as well? Am I nipple deep by association? There's no signal. OK, Vod, you are going up there and you are giving them the money. Well, actually, I can't. It is 60 grand. Look, I know it's a wrench. I remember when I had to take out 75k from my trustees and endowment on this place. I nearly had a fucking nosebleed in Bradford and Bingley. What about the grab ball? Eh? No cash means, you know, no lake of fire. All those disappointed punters, I mean... Where the fuck is it? We give them a bit of it. Yeah. Uh, I've got to be honest with you, Joe. I don't think Mole's the kind of gentleman that will come down here, help himself to a grand, and leave without the other 59. We can't stay here. We've got our finals in the morning. It'll only be a couple of hours. Mm. You know, in my experience, nine times out of ten, these things just blow over. Bob, listen to I'm not fucking... Oh, right, and that's from your Office of National Statistics, is it? Mole, mate, are you a fan of expressionism? Because in my dresser, second drawer down, you will find a sketch by a certain Lucian Freud. No? I'll tell you what, if we make it out of this alive... If! I said when. 100 quid each. Oh, yeah, great. Well, that'll make up for the loss of earnings when we all fail our finals. I can use it to buy a big velvet dunce cap. But give them the money. Yeah, but stop fucking around. Well, then we'll just shut the fuck up about it for a minute, OK? I am not giving them my money. You know, he's probably up there stealing all our stuff. He's probably going to take my fucking 12-string. Right. We're not leaving till we find... 